Hey everyone, whose rhythm sucks? Uh, welcome. We're going to learn how to suck not so much. Hopefully not at all. A lot of my students have problems with rhythm and this is a normal thing. I too had problems with rhythm until I focused on it and understood it more. I believe that we all understand rhythm to a degree because we listen to music and we can sort of move to the music that we listen to. And so there's an understanding, but there's a disconnect maybe between what we get in our brain uh, as just a normal human and then what we get in going on with a guitar, with an instrument, trying to apply what we have in our head to an instrument. Um, so a couple of ways I go about it while teaching is how you speak. The voice is the first instrument, whether you're a singer or not, it's the first instrument. It's the most natural instrument. And so you start making noises, then they turn into words, then they turn into sentences, then you start developing your way to speak. If, for instance, I speak like the Queen of England and make sure everything is perfectly said, in my brain, that is like I am playing every note. If I want to go and buy a donut, it's like if I want to go and buy a donut, very robotic. But if I speak the way I normally would speak, and I'm Australian and we use, you know, we abbreviate things, we, we have slang and I'll say instead of I am going to go and buy a donut, I might say I'm going to go buy a donut. I'm going to go buy. I'm going to go buy. Da -da 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 -da. I'm going to go buy. So now I'm going to go buy a donut, which might sound ridiculous, but the phrasing, the way I said it, I'm going to go buy a donut. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 so I've got now a rhythm. Da -da 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 -da. I'm going to go buy a donut. Now, if I if I apply the same sort of phrasing ideas that I spoke, I'm gonna I'm gonna when I do a liaison like that, gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna. That's like I pluck the I'm, and then I'm gonna 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 is a hammer on or a slide or a, something like that. To me, it's not I'm gonna. It's I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Maybe two hammer-ons in a row. You know? Figure out what technique, hammer-on, pull-off, slide, bend, whatever, vibrato, what you need to create that same sound. I'm gonna go buy a donut. da ga da 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 Instead of... So I'm trying to speak or sing with my instrument using my voice and the way I speak. It's a bloody great idea. Thank you, Tobes. You've just changed my world. Wow, I'm amazing. So this helped me a lot because I sat down with scales and arpeggios and practiced like a robot for a long time and just soloed like a robot. It was when I started attaching the speaking and the phrasing with this sort of stuff that made me more melodic and more fluid. Other things you can do, I use mostly with the, the younger kids, but it works really well with everyone, I guess. Um, using words, I use um, elephant or chocolate. Chocolate's better because I love chocolate. Chocolate is a triplet. Chocolate. If I say chocolate, 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 da 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 one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. That takes care of a triplet. If I say macaroni, 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 that takes care of my 16th notes. So between macaroni and elephant, just those two words, I've covered a lot of potential um, rhythms. Let's have a look. If I do something, even if I just say, all right, well, uh, I'm gonna have one bar of music and I'm gonna have triplets, elephant, 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 elephant. Da -da 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 -da. And I use duck -da, da more than I use elephant because, you know, I'm an adult. <laughs> um, the other thing, if I want to do 16th notes, macaroni, 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 or duck da 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 or duck da 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 That's also easy to say, duck da 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 If we look at macaroni, macaroni, we have four syllables. Uh, if we think about it like our 16th notes, maybe. I want to I want to change the rhythm of it to go next level rhythms so your rhythms don't suck. Uh, maybe I'll remove this so maca row. I can't say row, but I need to use up the same amount of space. So maca ni maca ni maca row 
ni maka ni maka ni maka ni maka ni maka all right so same concept if i remove maka ro karo i can't say karo but i need to take up the same amount of space ma ni ma ni ma ni ma ni ma ni that makes sense hopefully if i remove the first one i got no ma i got karoni 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 why am i talking about this because it's rhythm if you can't sing a rhythm how can you expect to play a rhythm if you can't understand a rhythm and, and say like oh the, the tempo is this if you can't do that with your mouth maybe you can't do it with the guitar or whatever instrument you're playing so try and even if you're playing scales boring stuff I would not play scales like that. This is going off track a little bit, but try and practice scales with maybe um, chocolate, 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 macaroni, 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 or maca, ni maca, ni maca, ni. And you start applying these rhythmical ideas. If you play a scale up and down and up and down and up and down over and over again till you can shred like I did, you can play a scale really fast. Well done. Can you play a melody? No, nope. maybe not. If you're like me, I couldn't. Um, so there you go. Trying to understand rhythm. The next thing I would say is once you understand it, even listening to drum solos or listen to rhythm, when you're not playing guitar, you can still practice guitar or practice music and learn music and get better. So let's say for instance, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm listening to a, a drum solo and he goes, Cool. Changed it a little bit at the end, but mainly steel drum solo bits. Try and understand how it fits with the technique of the guitar. If you're going, you want to try and keep this arm moving as much as you can. Otherwise, you will lose fluidity. So I get to the I got to the point where I studied enough of the the rhythm that I can just sing if I'm playing at that speed I can sing a rhythm in my head and my hand copies what I'm doing because I spent enough time to understand rhythm. So if I'm playing uh, I don't know something funky and I'm playing like I'm going to sing it and play it at the same time. All right. There you go. I'm gonna leave it there and like, subscribe, all of that stuff. Hit me up for Skype lessons if if you want to because I teach. That's what I do. Um, hopefully, I'll see you there on the other end of a screen, maybe in front of me if you live in Lyon, France. All right, cool. Take it easy and until next time. See ya.